Up and down weather lately can be a sticky situation for bees. Many of them die off in these fast changing temperatures, and that can have a ripple effect on the foods we eat. News reporter Antoinette Del Bell checked in with a local beekeeper and has more on the challenges this time of year and why honeybees are so vital to our economy. <laughs> Between the chickens, goats, and her soap business, you can say Maureen Anderson is, well, one busy bee. Honey is probably one of our um, main sources of income. That's because she's also a beekeeper. These are the colonies that uh, we've prepared for winter. And with roller coaster temperatures recently, beekeepers expect some of the insects to die off. But this year in particular has been extra challenging. We really just had a slam in the last, uh, I would say the last two months um, for, of really cold weather. And that cold weather was moist weather. We lost four colonies and uh, it's interesting because uh, last year we lost one. The loss of four beehives means a stinging loss of roughly 240,000 bees that Anderson says hits her bottom line hard. She says that could amount to losing several thousand dollars. So it's detrimental because it's a really large uh, part of our income is the sale of raw honey. And Anderson isn't alone. Experts say dozens of beekeepers around the state are also struggling. And the loss of bees has a trickle down effect on our farmers. Some crops, including blueberries, and apples are almost entirely dependent on bees. The economy suffers all around if those bees aren't there to make those particular farms produce more. And honeybees are big drivers for the economy. The FDA says they contribute billions of dollars to the agriculture each year, not because of the honey they produce, but because of their work to pollinate crops. So when the temps quickly change course again, the buzz is on the honeybees. We're not done. This is mid-February. In James City County, Antoinette Eldo, News 3.